Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to talk about medical entomology. These, in this video, we'll basically covering the arthropods which are of medical importance and in today's video, we'll be covering mainly about the mosquitoes. So the mosquito falls in, under the insecta category. Now we need to differentiate between the insectas, arachnidas and crustaceans. These are three broad categories of the arthropods. First of all, we have the insecta which have got three body divisions that is head, thorax and the abdomen. They have got three pairs of legs, one pair of antenna and wings are present and where are they found? They are found on the land area. Whereas the arachnida which includes the spiders, they have got only two body divisions, the pallothorax and the abdomen and they have got four pairs of legs, no antenna, wings are absent and they are also found on the land. But coming to crustaceans, Everything is same, they have got cephalothorax and abdominal only two body division, then they have got five pairs of legs, that is ten legs. They have two pairs of antennae, that is four antenna. The wings are absent and they are found in the water. Among them, the cyclops is coming. Now cyclops is of least medical importance in India, least medical importance because it causes guinea worm disease which has already been eradicated from India. So it is of not of much importance but still it holds its importance we will be seeing in subsequent videos. Now coming to the first mosquito that is the Anopheles mosquito. The Anopheles mosquito causes which disease? It causes malaria. The breeding place is the clean stagnant water. So in clean stagnant water which gets collected, this mosquito breathes. So now what can be the clean stagnant water? It can be roadside water, water in the potholes, etc. Okay. Coming to the eggs, they have got single boat shaped eggs. Boat shaped X with lateral floats with lateral floats and where are the larva found larvas are basically the surface feeders because they don't have a siphon so they are just near the surface of the water so they have to come out of the air so water to get in the air so it takes air by coming out of water Biting time is usually peaks during dusk and dawn and dusk. Peaks at dawn and dusk. That is just before the sunrise and just after the sunset. Habitat. This, these, organ, these mosquitoes are exophilic. Found outside the homes. The bite is less painful. The resting position is head down position. That is an inclined position head down inclined position flight range is two to three kilometers and they have got spots on the wings spots on their wings so this way you can identify see they have got an inclined position see the larva see the eggs are single single larva single eggs are there okay or eggs are something like this they've got lateral floats in them okay then this larva is a surface feeder motile actively feeding larva okay so this is the anopheles mosquito coming on to the culex mosquito here you can see the eggs are placed in sheets okay and collections so the disease caused by culex is japanese encephalitis and filariasis breeding places this is found in dirty polluted water dirty polluted water eggs are found in clusters in rafts sheets the larva is same like it is a bottom I'm sorry it is a bottom feeder it has got a siphon present okay so this does not have to come out of the water to get in the air it uses a siphon that is a tube Biting time is during midnight. Habitat. It is basically an exophilic organism but at night 
it becomes endophilic because it bites at midnight humans are inside at midnight so it has to come inside at night becomes endophilic the bite is burning sensation it produces a burning sensation the resting position is a hunchback position flight range is 11 to 13 kilometers and it is brown color small body brown color small body just see the mosquito brown color small body and a hunch back position this is a hunch is coming out okay now coming to the Aedes mosquito Aedes mosquito causes dengue yellow fever chikungunya the breathing place is the artificially stored water in containers artificially stored water like in coolers plants etc now here the eggs are single and cigar shaped eggs single cigar shaped eggs are present here the larva is a bottom feeder again bottom feeder that means siphon is present the biting time is two hours before sunrise and sunset two hours before sunrise and sunset habitat is endophilic inside the house bite is painful and it sits parallel to the ground parallel to ground flight range is very small 100 to 200 meters only and it has got stripes on body and tail stripes on legs and body sorry legs and body that is why this is also known as a tiger mosquito and you can see it is this is the ground it is also lying parallel to it okay and if you see the X, X a single cigar shaped X. And X. Now comparison see the X of Anopheles, a single egg with the lateral floats. See the lateral floats. Here the X is laid singly, no floats. It laid in grafts, no floats. And the larva here, rudimentary breathing tube is present, not the siphon. But here the siphon is present, air tube present, air tube present. Pupa are very similar. If you see the adult, it has got uh, spotted wings. Wings are generally uniform here. And the tip of the female abdomen is usually when these are not many differences. Proboscis is in an angle, proboscis is in an angle. But here it is in the same line. Coming to the Mansonia mosquito, it causes lymphatic filariasis. Lymphatic filariasis. The breathing place of this mosquito is large water bodies with aquatic vegetations. Large water bodies with aquatic vegetations. Here the eggs are star, star shaped in clusters. Star shaped in clusters. And the larva is again a bottom feeder and it is attached to the roots of the aquatic vegetation. Biting time is during morning and evening. During morning and evening. Egg, it is an exophilic mosquito. Bite is painless. Sits in a squatting position. Squatting position and the flight range is two to three kilometers now if you see this mosquito it has got large legs and large body see so this was all about all the mosquitoes today we studied about the anopheles mosquito then the culex then Aedes, and then the Mansonia mosquitoes. So in the next subsequent videos, we'll be discussing the other arthropods of medical importance. Thank you.